Hey, hello guys. Welcome to another class of this phenomenal physics series where we are discussing about vectors. So in the last class we have learned about this how to find the magnitude and angle of the resultants if we know the magnitudes of the individual vectors and the angle between the vectors, right? So there comes one very basic question that if the vectors suppose let me draw two vectors vector a and I have brought it into common tail configuration two vectors vector a vector b and we learned how to find out the magnitude and angle if if we have the angle between the two vectors that is theta but the common question comes if a vector is given in the component form in the 3d cartesian coordinate form like ax i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap right it is given in the component form in a three-dimensional space, three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate, right? Similarly, B vector is given as Bx i cap, By j cap plus Bz k cap. Now, this is these two are represented in component form. Okay, and we can translate and bring into common tail configuration at a common tail at O. But how to understand what is the angle theta? How to bring that? For that, we have to take into account one thing that we have already learned that is called the dot product so let us try to do dot product and what is the definition of dot product it is modulus of a vector modulus of b vector cos of the angle between them right so cos of theta theta is the angle between the two vectors and what is a dot b component wise component wise multiplication and sum it up correct right so this side it is a scalar this side is also a scalar it's basically a scalar equation right so easily we can find out what is cos of theta cos of theta is what ax bx plus a y b y plus a z b z divided by modulus of a what is modulus of a component form x square sorry this is not b this is x square plus a y square plus a z square right and that is modulus of a what is modulus of b b x square plus b y square plus b z square right so cos inverse of this very thing will give you the angle theta so theta is the angle between them okay so this simple dot product is giving you very important results okay no need to worry and why we are using this dot product if someone says why can't we go by the via the cross product method remember there was one cross product also a vector cross b vector will be what modulus of a modulus of b sine theta but this is a vector equation both sides of the equation is a vector quantity n cap you remember n cap is perpendicular to both a cap and b cap right you remember that you remember that now okay so that is why moreover when you uh, the cross product in the component form how it comes you remember i cap j cap k cap and then the first vector components ax ay az then bx by bz okay so if you are taking modulus on either sides and it will be modulus of this it will be a whole big equation you are understanding suppose we take modulus on either sides then modulus of n cap will turn to zero then we'll take modulus of this modulus of a cap modulus of b sine of theta so you can you can say that i can go via this route also why should i go by only dot product but you see the amount of mathematical calculation that comes over here you are understanding now modulus of so i cap i cap into a y b z minus a z b y a y b z minus a z b y right then minus j cap a x b z a x b z minus a z b x plus k cap what will be that a x b y a x b y minus a y b x 
सो मॉड्यूलस ऑफ दिस होल थिंग देन मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ए वेक्टर मॉड्यूलस ऑफ बी वेक्टर साइन ऑफ दैट एंगल सो साइन थीटा विल लीड यू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ देन द मॉड्यूलस ऑफ दिस वेक्टर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वेक्टर विल बी ए वाई बी जेड माइनस ए जेड बी वाई होल स्क्वायर प्लस ए एक्स बी जेड माइनस ए जेड बी एक्स होल स्क्वायर प्लस प्लस ए एक्स बी वाई माइनस ए वाई बी एक्स होल स्क्वायर राइट दिस विल बी द न्यूमरेटर डिवाइडेड बाय मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए वाई स्क्वायर प्लस ए जेड स्क्वायर मॉड्यूलस ऑफ बी बी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस बी जेड स्क्वायर राइट सो फ्रॉम हियर आल्सो यू कैन फाइंड दिस एंगल थीटा बट यू सी इट इज मोर रिकरस इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन सो बेटर यू कैन गो फाय the dot product method that is much more simpler okay so guys you practice problems on this it's very easy not to take any worries but it comes in your ijes joint entrances all those advanced or mains any these this concept is variously used okay so this is where the application part of any dot or cross product comes understood this can be used in larger problems so you keep on practicing mention in the comments how you find this useful okay and whether you are having any problems doing these sort of sums okay try to practice from hc verma sir's book erodov's book understood okay so if you find this useful please give a like and share it share with whoever you think it will be useful and for you to join this community you should definitely subscribe okay there is this red colored button okay you just need to click it and then a bell icon will appear you need to press the bell icon to get notified every time i am posting a video okay guys so till then study practice sums relevant to this and we'll meet you in the next class bye bye